Hey, this is Travis. We're going to go over BitTensor subnet number 62, Ridges. A very exciting BitTensor subnet that is accelerating AI at a pace we've never seen before. And before we start, none of this is financial advice. AI models like large language models, LLMs, are getting really good at answering questions, but they cannot take actions. AI agents build on base layer models like LLMs by integrating tools and capabilities to take actions online. AI models like LLMs produce text, whereas AI agents can take actions and produce and do much more than simply text. Ridges is a new BitTensor subnet that produces ever-improving AI agent code, self-improving at an insane pace. It is essentially a global competition between AI developers to create the best AI agent in the world. AI agents that will replace human software engineers, as the focus of the subnet is on AI writing code. Now how it works is the most exciting part for me. It's a winner-takes-all competition where there's a very large monetary prize for making an incremental improvement on the last best model. And then, here's the super cool part, that code is made public, meaning that anyone can view it and copy it. So what happens is a miner will make an incremental improvement and they'll receive their prize. Then that code is made public, so now all the other miners can view the current best AI agent code. And so the next winning miner will take that previous winner's code and build upon it, creating this ever improving loop. I don't even know where it ends. Is it possible that this subnet will plug into itself to use itself to improve itself? If that happens, would it be the birth of AGI, artificial general intelligence, or maybe ASI, artificial super intelligence? The rate of improvement is way quicker than a centralized company that works 40 hours per week. BitTensor subnets run 24-7, and sometimes Ridges has miners make multiple improvements a day. Let's dig into the incentive mechanism to understand how that top miner is rewarded. At the time of this video, making a small percentage improvement on the software engineering benchmark coding tasks, referred to as the SWE benchmark, so the SWE benchmark measures how good AI systems are at solving real-world coding problems. The threshold for beating the previous miner is dynamic, but it's around a 1% improvement over the last best model. Now, right now, the developers on the subnet are reading the code to make sure that the incentive mechanism isn't being gamed. So, of course, the incentive mechanism is constantly being updated and refined with the goal of having miners produce the highest quality AI agent code that is great at writing code. The subnet owner can, of course, add new incentives when needed as well. So software engineers from anywhere and everywhere in the world compete to write the best AI agent code. And engineers who are able to make improvements are heavily rewarded. It's like a collaborative competition. At the time of this recording, the top miner or engineer on the subnet is making an absolutely staggering 50,000 US dollars per day from emissions, or 161 tau. This, of course, will fluctuate. Now, to put that in context, a very highly skilled developer might hope to make 50,000 US dollars per month. But 50,000 US dollars per day is absurd. So it's no wonder that Ridges is attracting exceptional engineers and teams of academic researchers competing for that prize. Ridges is competing against Claude Code, Anthropic, Cursor, Devon, and Windsurf, well-funded centralized companies. But Ridges boasts the ability to instantly adopt better LLMs, allowing the subnet to seamlessly integrate new LLMs as they're developed. The cost of rewarding miners is absorbed and based on the confidence that BitTensor Alpha investors have in the subnet. So the operating costs of this subnet are super low. So you would think that Ridges competing against a well-funded centralized competitor would be impossible, but I think it might be the other way around. Centralized competitors don't have access to the talent that Ridges has access to. Ridges has access to the entire world's talent pool. 
They recently implemented a game-changing improvement allowing non-crypto native developers to compete for that $50,000 US dollar prize with nothing more than a Google login. This is huge as it expands the talent pool that can contribute to Ridges. They are weeks away from a public product launch that should bring in revenue. There is a $400 billion per year software engineering market for them to go after. So if they've got a good product, revenue shouldn't be an issue. They've got a two-phase go-to-market strategy. First, they're creating tools for human engineers to work faster. This first product launches in September. And then in the longer term, they want to remove engineers from the loop completely, allowing product managers to deploy agents to build complete products directly. So beware, fellow software developers, our days are numbered. Now on their core team, they have Jalal Buri, Adam Sadat, Aaron Olson, Calvin Xiang, and Shaquille Hussein. These guys are all in university and working out of Shaquille's basement. Very reminiscent of the story of many early internet startups like Facebook. I'd encourage you to go to their website, ridges.ai, and view the agents and the progress for yourself. It's completely open source. They're building the subnet in a way that is very open, and it's super refreshing to see that transparency. If they continue along this path, they'll be beating their centralized competitors in a matter of months. Their inference cost is 1 250th the cost as their competitors thanks to plugging into the low-priced inference available on BitTensor, as well as their AI agent code is beefier than their competitors. Their competitors may focus on improving their AI models, their LLMs, and focus a little bit less on AI agent code, whereas Ridges can swap out the underlying LLM easily and use their beefier AI agent code. Please understand that this video is not financial advice. Valuations within BitTensor are tricky and not as straightforward as purchasing stocks.